Tonight, a development in the investigation into the cause of the devastating Marshall Fire. The Boulder County Sheriff's Office has released the property that has been a focus so far. They announced today that that search of the property belonging to a religious sect called the 12 Tribes is now complete. Videos taken by witnesses do show a shed there burning. And since the fire, there appears to be a trench around it. Investigators would not comment on that trench. A Mountain View fire report does show the 12 tribes community had been burning railroad ties days before the fire. There were no violations cited for that fire. Tonight, the search warrant for that property remains sealed. We did ask investigators today what's next for this investigation. They say they will be combining eyewitness accounts, lab reports, and more to determine what started it all. When we are looking at a cause of origin, we go to the place where the fire has burnt the longest and the hottest. We are also learning more about why there was no red flag warning that day on the day of the fire, despite winds gusting more than 100 miles per hour. The humidity was not low enough to trigger that warning, we have learned. Alan Janae looking into this for us tonight. So, Alan, the National Weather Service says the Marshall Fire, though, could change how a red flag warning is actually issued from here going forward. Well, Karen, a lot of things are going to get a closer look after the Marshall Fire. This most costly of blazes represents a new threat, wildland to urban fire. And while weather experts give us first alerts of potential trouble coming, the question now is, do they cover current threats? All right, I gotta get out of here. Before the fire tore through town after town, there was concern. For it to be the grass fire spreading into the urban area and then just going, you know, house to house to house. Um, yeah, that's uh, that's new in my 30 some year career. Greg Hansen's leader of the team that puts out red flag warnings at the National Weather Service. For red flag warning, we're looking for a relative humidity of less than 15 percent. Uh, and wind speeds 25 miles an hour or greater for several hours. The wind was easily there, but the humidity was higher, about 20 to 30 percent. So no red flag warning. So the wind vectors were coming right out of the west. CBS 4's so, Dave Aguilera knows many things like lined up for the fire. We had a wet spring, which meant lush grasses growing up, and then six months of among the driest and hottest weather we've ever had. No December snow in the ground, notes Hansen. Then the winds. You get hurricane force winds and it doesn't really care what the humidity levels are. There was a high wind warning that went out from the National Weather Service extended to all of Boulder County. The Sheriff's Department says that means an automatic open burning ban. But the red flag warning was not up. Is it time for reappraisal of this? Yeah, I think that's uh, a conversation we're going to have to have. The drought situation, the wind situation, and the heat all together in times of the year we've never had it before. You may have to rethink the way you warn people on what's coming your way. Red flag warnings were initially created for the agencies that have to deal with fighting fires like the Forest Service and fire departments. But in the age of the Internet, we've all become used to getting them. Now, changing them won't be taken lightly. This is a big deal, but it could be just one of the things that changes in the wake of the Marshall Fire. I'm Alan Janae covering Colorado First.